Mark, welcome to Glen Avenue. Pleased to get the deal done. Yes, uh, over the moon. Um, I wasn't sure whether Gary was going to come in for me or not. You know, there was a few other clubs um, in, but um, when Hammy came in, it was really only one place it was going to end up because I was nearly here a couple of uh, years ago, but um, ended up staying on at Linfield. So when um, Hammy came in, it was um, I, w I was really happy and uh, it didn't take too long to get things sorted out. Yeah. And you're coming with two of your former Linfield uh, teammates as well, so that must make things a wee bit easier for you whenever you're going to be settling in the dressing room. Yeah, like when you come to a new club, I've only ever played for Ballam Allard and uh, Linfield, obviously. So to come into a new change room, you know, is not something I'm used to. Um, so it's as you say, it's a bit easier when you're with Andy and uh, Hawks. They're coming into a new environment as well. But I know um, Wardy and Ribsy, obviously, from Linfield changing room and that. So and um, a few of the other lads, obviously, have played against over the years and in, uh, in the in the league. So I've a lot of respect for them boys in the change room too. So I'm um, looking forward to meeting them and uh, getting started. It's going to be a slightly different challenge from what you had at Linfield as well, because over at Linfield you'd have been expected to win things mm -hmm. week in, week out, whereas here there's been slightly different expectations over the years. There's always been a desire to go and win things, but we just haven't quite managed to do it all the time. I mean, do you see that as a new challenge, or what, what are your thoughts on that? No, well, it's, you have a standard for yourself, you know what I mean, to set, you know, over the years or whatever. I've, I've always tried to come and uh, give me best, and... You know, you want to compete for things at the end of the day. You know, like Gary's assembled a good uh, squad of players there and there'd be another few probably coming in as well. And, uh, you know, like at the end of the day, you know, there's boys in that change room there capable of winning things. And, like, we, we want to go and compete. Look, we know it's going to be hard. There's full-time teams around us and stuff like Lauren and Linfield, Glen Torren and, and Crusaders that down that route as well. And you've got good Corey inside as well. So, like, it's going to be a difficult challenge. Like, you know, we, we all know the Irish League, it's, it's tough, but... But like we have a good squad of players there, and hopefully we can um, hit the ground running next season, and uh, we'll see where it takes us. Well, that, that's what was, leads me on nicely to the next question, which was: Do you think we now have the capability with these signings that we are making to, to push on for honours? Well, time will tell. I suppose like you don't know. I suppose until until you get going. But like you know, there's definitely a good group of players there. You have you have some um, experienced players, and you have some younger players as well. Like Gary signed from the championship last year and whatnot. And you've a few lads coming into the peak of their career have been here quite a while as well at Glenavon. So there's a good mix there. But like the challenge, as I say, is, is going to be huge. You know, the league, the standard of the league, even since I've come in it with since with Ballam Allard days, the standard has keeps going up and up every year. And it's going to be a, it's going to be difficult for us here. But but um, we'll give it a rattle and see where it takes us. I know the supporters are excited. Are, are you? Yes, I'm really looking forward to it. Um, I love I love coming down and playing on Mournview. Um, over the years, it's been brilliant, and uh, I enjoy the surface and the atmosphere and that there around the ground in the Irish League game. So, I'm um, looking forward to it, um, to playing my home games here. And finally, I was reading there you've uh, to go undergo a wee bit of an operation. Uh, can you tell us a wee bit about that as well? Yeah, I've got um, I had a wee problem with me knee. Probably I've had it for a few years, like, but um, it really sort of come to a head there towards in the middle of the season there, and um, uh, Linfield sent me for a scan and. They wouldn't. They didn't want me to get the operation till the end of the season because it would rule me out probably. If, you know, if I went for the operation, so um, they managed me training and game time or whatever, so I could uh, get through the season. And uh, and I want to thank them for looking after the operation for me. And hopefully, it gives me a real good. Um, hopefully, if we come back fit for pre-season, give it a real good rattle again. Listen, Mark. All the best, and hopefully, we'll not be too long to see you in the blue shirt of Glenavon. Thank you very much. Cheers.